Hello and welcome to the Pharma Learning Channel. In this episode, we'll be covering migraines. A migraine is an intense headache that can cause severe throbbing pain, usually on one side of the head. Other symptoms include sensitivity to light and sound, nausea and vomiting. There are different types of migraines, including migraine with aura. The aura includes a wide range of neurological symptoms, usually affecting vision, that can occur before or at the same time as the migraine, such as seeing zigzag lines or flashing lights. For some, the aura stage can act as a warning sign that a migraine is about to begin. A migraine without an aura is the most common type where the migraine happens without any warning signs. Migraine with aura without a headache is where the aura or other migraine symptoms are experienced, but without any head pain. Moving on to treating an acute migraine. Initial treatment includes a single analgesic like paracetamol, aspirin or ibuprofen. Opioids like tramadol or morphine are not recommended. Because of the risk of dependence, the potential of causing medication overuse headaches, and that they can exacerbate nausea. If the analgesic is inadequate, consider a tryptan alone or in combination with paracetamol or an NSAID like ibuprofen. Sumatriptan is usually the first choice of tryptan. Other examples include risotriptan and zolmitriptan. When given orally, the typical dose of sumatriptan is 50 to 100 milligrams initially, followed by 50 to 100 milligrams after two hours if required. Sumatriptan is also available as a nasal spray and an injection. These formulations are preferred if vomiting restricts oral treatment. Those that experience migraine with aura should take the triptan at the start of the headache and not at the start of the aura, unless the aura and the headache happens simultaneously. In some cases, an antiemetic is offered, such as metoclopramide 10 mg or prochlorperazine 10 mg. However, metoclopramide should not be used regularly due to the risk of extra pyramidal side effects. On prescription, combination products like Paramax containing paracetamol and metoclopramide can be prescribed. Let's focus our attention to over-the-counter products available in a pharmacy. Migrelief is available as pink and yellow tablets. These can be bought separately or as a combination known as Migrelief Complete. The pink tablets include codeine, paracetamol and buclozine. Buclozine is an antihistamine with antiemetic properties, useful for nausea and vomiting associated with migraines. And the paracetamol and codeine helps with pain. The yellow tablets contain just codeine and paracetamol. For adults, two pink tablets should be taken at the start of a migraine, maximum two in 24 hours, followed by two yellow tablets every four hours, no more than six in 24 hours. The custom M buckle tablets can also be purchased, containing three milligram prochlorperazine for nausea and vomiting. Sumatriptan 50 mg is available for migraine attacks with or without an aura. Previously diagnosed by a doctor, suitable to sell to adults between the ages of 18 and 65. Forehead strips and rubs are available containing levo menthol for patients that prefer a drug free alternative. Preventative treatment is considered if acute treatment is ineffective. Migraines are having a significant impact on quality of life. The patient is at risk of medication overuse headaches. Choice of therapy includes propanolol 80 to 160 mg daily in divided doses, topiramate 50 to 100 mg daily in divided doses, amitriptyline 25 to 75 mg at night. Usually, propanolol is recommended first line. If the patient is pregnant or planning a pregnancy, toperamate should be avoided. Effective contraception should be used in women of childbearing potential due to the risk of fetal harm. There is an increased risk of stroke in migraine sufferers that use the combined contraceptive pill. Combined contraceptive pills are contraindicated in women that have migraines with aura. 
However, those that experience migraines without an aura can usually use the combined contraceptive pill if they have no other stroke risk factors like high blood pressure. Gabapentin should not be considered as a prophylactic treatment for migraines. Let's talk about some self-care tips for patients with migraines. Since the exact cause of migraines is unknown, keeping a diary to identify migraine triggers is useful. Commonly mentioned triggers include excessive caffeine, irregular meals, lack of exercise, and disturbed sleep. So the way to tackle these things is to adopt a healthy diet with regular meals and adequate hydration, exercise, and good sleep hygiene. It's also important to treat conditions like depression, insomnia, and sleep apnea as they can exacerbate migraines. Until next time, thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find Pharma Learning on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.